現在敵部隊は山伏峠に到達友軍部隊は交代を開始したしかしながらこの交代は包囲殲滅を回避するための戦術的なものだ敵の圧力は侮れないものがあるが飢餓の撃墜比は依然7対1の優勢を維持しているうん。I doubt the American and Imperial surface pilots have that much of a difference in skill, which means those F F-22A Raptors must be totally beast. Our highest ranking officer is Marimo chan, and she's just a sar sergeant. They've got a major, so it makes sense, but it still kind of pisses me off. Though I will admit that I'll feel a lot safer with those super strong TSF surrounding us. Ah, the rankings of the military personnel transcends country differences, huh? Continuing our escape. So the rebels have already reached Kameishi Pass, huh? From here on out, the Americans are gonna have to hold their own against the rebels with no chance of fresh supplies. We've got a good lead on the rebels at the moment, but it's not enough to guarantee our safety just yet. Sure, even, even if they did break through the Americans and chased after us at full speed, we probably still beat them to the choke point. But the thought of them breaking through isn't an enticing one. Even with those F-22A Raptors and their 7 to 1 ratio, the Americans can only last so long without fresh supplies. But we can't move any faster than this. Hmm. The gravity force is getting to her. She's been looking worse and worse, and she hasn't said a word for a while now. And this is after those motion sickness pills. There's no way she could handle going any faster than this. In fact, even this might actually be too much for her. Your Highness, are you alright? That was a stupid question. Anyone with eyes could tell she's not okay, and there's no way she's going to admit it. Well, we got a good head start thanks to the Americans. I'm gonna suggest we slow down a little. Sorry, but you're clearly not okay. We're already pushing our luck here. Please, Your Highness, it's obvious that your body can't take much more of this. But... Uh. She's gotta know better than to say motion sickness won't kill her. Every surface pilot knows that it's absolutely possible to die of dehydration due to nausea-induced vomiting. <laughs> this is bad news. She may be putting on a tough face, but it's obvious that her condition's getting worse. Your Highness. <laughs> She's breaking out in a cold sweat. Damn it, the Shogun's every bit as stubborn as Maya. I don't... Can car sickness really kill someone? I mean, if she can, she can actually put up with this somehow, then yes, there's nothing to worry about. But if something were to happen to her, we'd, we'd in seriously deep shit. Even assuming she makes it out of this place in one piece, what if word gets out that we manhandled the Shogun? That's not exactly gonna do wonders for the public's opinion of America and the UN. In fact, it might very well lead to more civil unrest, or even cause another pointless uprising. There's no other choice. I 
can't keep doing this to her. If I slow down gradually enough, I doubt she'll even notice. That might make things a little better, though I doubt it'll be enough to actually improve her condition. If I slow down any more, I'll be breaking formation. If only I can make the boost jump smoother somehow. Hmm. They're closing in on us. Hiekawa, wasn't that the choke point we had to break through? No way! Even accounting for the time we lost resupplying, the rebels are gaining on us way too fast. It's almost like they made, it, made a beeline straight for it, without even considering that we might change course. How is this possible? They know our plan somehow, the rebels. The Americans, they're fighting the rebels. Japanese Type 94! There's so many of them! Suppressing fire! Keep their heads down! You fucker! Strike Eagle 36! I thought you were too old! Let's go! All units, listen up. Pull back into the mountains and form a defensive line. They're pushing up too fast. Don't let them get through. What the hell? There's more of them at 2 o'clock. Fall back to the mountains. Stay in your element. There's 12 of them. And more incoming. Move it. They're surrounding us. Damn it. It's a whole squadron of 94. It's a whole squadron. Draw them into a dogfight. Even 94s aren't. They're so fast. Are those really 94s? Pete 911, fall back. Maintain formation. Watch out for the ones in Russian camo. They're quicker than the others. Russian camo? Then they're aces from the Fuji Training Corps. Watch your asses! All platoons, pull back in time into one formation! Form at the defensive line, ASAP! Ah! Hmm. Something's not right. The rebel forces shouldn't be moving that fast, it just doesn't make sense. Especially considering that we could've just as easily changed up our escape route at any moment. And yet, E1 still headed straight for the toll booth, at full speed. They didn't even consider the possibility that we outsmarted them and were planning to change course and head toward old Mishima City. Makes no sense, it's too reckless. Maybe they were getting desperate and just wanted to prevent the worst case scenario. This option not only necessitates an extension of their supply lines, it also puts them in a real bind if they if we make it out to the ocean, where they've got no power whatsoever. But if they can block us off at Hiekawa and force us inland, they still have a chance. No, that still that still seems too passive. You don't take risks like that when failure means you'll be executed as enemies of the state. So what's really going on here then? There's another thing. What exactly exactly makes them so confident that our unit has the Shogun in the first place? They're moving at a breakneck pace, and it seems like we've been their target from the very start. I hate to consider this, but could our plans have gotten leaked? Hmm. Takeru has his suspicions on Ayamine now. What am I thinking? That couldn't possibly have happened. Grah! Damn it! Maximum combat speed? Sure, we don't want to let him, let him cut us off at Hiekawa, but we can't afford to move any faster than this. Huh? Training corps, people who train other surface pilots then. 
Hmm, elite forces, huh? So that's what happened. The Fuji unit went on ahead and E1 followed behind, behind to keep us from changing course. So that's it. The guys that have been pursuing us were just a distraction. They were planning on using the Fuji unit to capture us all along. Of course, we just assumed they were E1 at first. No wonder it seemed like they were moving so fast. I mean, yeah, I guess he's right. There aren't any more Imperial bases this way, and old Shimoda city is supposedly being held down by American troops. Like the Major said, if we can make it through Hiekawa, they won't be able to catch up to us even if we slow down a little. So what am I hesitating for? Keeping Her Highness out of rebel hands is our top priority. I have to do this so we can save humanity and stop wasting time fighting other people. O6, copy that. She read Takeru's thoughts. Okay, if you're sure. Heat, that's the call sign for the 174 Battalion. He must be talking to the CO. Hey, leader, roger that. Make it quick. Hunter 1, Liu Kai. Please, you gotta keep the enemy at bay. If we can just make it through Hiekawa, the rebels should receive orders to retreat. And then this stupid battle will finally over. Be over. So please, just hold them off a little longer. Damn it, the American enemy is getting their asses kicked. Whoa. Please. Just a little more. Just give us a little more time. About 1.5 clicks to Hiekawa. Shouldn't take more than 20 or 30 seconds. But will we make it in time? Wait, what? Ooh. Will we make it? Hmm? The rebel forces already made it to the tool booth. Toll booth. But how? They're supposed to be. How can you be so calm about this? We're totally screwed. Yeah, I guess he's right. It's easy to guess which TSF the Shogun is is in based on our formation, but there's no way to be sure. And even if they could be sure, there's still the danger of hitting her TSF by accident. If that happened, they sure as hell wouldn't be able to call themselves Stealth's Patriots anymore. The best way to take custody of Her Highness while still ensuring her safety would be to surround us and force us to drop our weapons. If that's their plan, then we still have a chance. But what if the rebels were to give up on getting the Shogun back? They went to capture the Shogun and have her sanction their rebellion, but if they can't do either of those things, she'd just be another obstacle for them. And if something should happen to her, what if they're just planning to pin the blame on, on the UN and the US? Given how chaotic things are right now, it'd be impossible to prove either way, and considering the way the Japanese people feel about foreign militaries, especially the US Army, whose word are they gonna believe? If the media says that the Shogun died due to US 
army negligence, or worse, that they killed her on purpose? Wouldn't that just provoke more IJF units to rebel? What if that's Captain Sagidi's true objective here? If so, then it doesn't even matter whether the Shogun lives or dies. He'll get what he wants either way. Ah, damn it. Why am I wasting my time thinking about this shit right now? Hunter 9 or Hunter 13. Man, they're so calm. Whoa, whoa, how are they gonna do do that at cruising speed? Do they even have enough fuel for that? What the? Enemies at 5 o'clock. Crap, the 174 battalion's too beaten up to maintain a solid defense. What do we do? They're gonna completely surround us. He's trying to rebuild the beast's defensive line with three flights of F-22s. Sure, that's a solid plan. That leaves only one flight of Americans to defend us, but since breaking through is our top priority, it's our best option. I've never felt so on edge. Look at all those red dots. Are we really gonna be able to break through that? If we can just get past this, we'll be golden. Damn it. We're gonna have to go through here no matter what. We gotta make it through. Full speed. We did it. We broke through. Made it through. Whew. Now it'll be impossible for the rebels to stop us. That's it then. It's over. Awesome. Stealthy low altitude flight will definitely make this easier on Her Highness. This is good. Did you hear that, Your Highness? We're almost... Huh? Your Highness. Oh boy. Your Highness. 06 to 00, 06 to 00, requesting top priority connection. 06 to 00. He's calling Marimo-chan. Her Highness just... she's requesting to stop immediately. Her Highness has fainted. She's got acute motion sickness. Again, requesting to stop immediately. She's not fully conscious. Her breathing is a little irregular and she's got a high pulse rate. Not yet, but I'm worried that once she starts, she won't be able to stop until it's too late. Damn it, we don't have time for you to ask permission. Your Highness. Shit. I know this was the only way, but god damn it. Okay, we got we got mountains on all sides. Should be easy to defend ourselves. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but please hold on a little longer. Pretty much the same as before. If anything, she looks worse. This jacket doesn't record, re record much data, but I'll upload what I have. Yeah, 
Yes, I gave her three tablets before we left Hakone. Oh, for crying out loud, we don't have time for a full diagnosis here. None of us surface pilots have specialized medical, tra uh, medical training, anyway. Shouldn't we loosen the belts or lay her down or, I don't know, just do something to help her start the recovery process? Major, I think we need to provide some kind of first aid as soon as possible. I'd like to loosen her harness and put her in a more relaxed position. I also think it's vital that I open the hatch so she can get some fresh air. Copy that. Your Highness, I'm opening the hatch. There's gonna be some movement for a second, so try to hang in there. I'm sorry that I can't do anything more, but hopefully it makes you feel at least a little better. I can hear the fighting in Hiekawa. I couldn't while the hatch was closed, but now it's faintly audible. We've got quite the lead on them now. It shouldn't be physically possible for them to catch up to us anymore. There aren't any Imperial bases ahead either, so there's no chance of more rebels popping up. Hmm? Letting her get fresh air was definitely a good idea, but it's a little too cold. I think there's a space blanket in the survival kit. Your Highness, I'm going to loosen these belts now. Pardon me. Are you doing okay? Try to lean back into a more comfortable position, if you can. Hmm. Huh? She hasn't slept at all. Right. That makes sense. I didn't even think about that. Her subjects all started killing each other and put the people of the capital in danger. She's definitely not the kind of person who could sleep through something like that. And I'll bet she's been fretting her hair... Uh, fretting her hair out the entire time, like Marimo said. She came all the way out here to serve as bait for the rebel forces, but I never heard her breathe a word of complaint. It's an incredible amount of strength. She definitely lives up to her title. The woman suffered in silence until her body literally couldn't take any more. She really is Maya's sister, isn't she? Sir! Huh? Tsukuyomi-san, wait, she's been listening. I'm surprised she didn't chime in sooner. I see, so that's why Tsukuyomi-san's been so quiet. The Royal Guard's basically just along... Just along for the ride in this operation. Guess she shouldn't just she couldn't she just couldn't resist the urge to speak up any longer. What did she say? Tri Triozolem is both a high level hypnotic and muscle relaxant. There is a very real danger of suffocation. If she were to vomit in her sleep. Hmm. Damn. She's still so composed. Given her anti-American sentiment, the Shogun's condition and the Major's attitude, you'd think she'd have lost it by now. If it were Maya, I guarantee she'd be biting the Major's head off right, up, right about now. 
可能性は否定できないだがそれはあくまで可能性の話だ殿下の容態を鑑みれば一刻も早く戦域を離脱するのが最良の選択だ我が軍が敵の追撃を阻止している間に補服飛行で移動すべきだろうお眠りいただくことで速度を上げ移動時間を短縮できれば殿下が戦術機に乗られる時間も敵に発見されるリスクも少なく済む Hmm, well, I can understand his rationale. We definitely want to minimize the strain we're subjecting the, sh the Shogun to, and it would be nice to bring this pointless battle to a close as quickly as possible. But right now, Her Highness is just barely holding it together through sheer force of will. Putting her to sleep might be very risky. Wouldn't it be better to just take a break here instead of sedating her? <laughs> Are you serious? It's way too short. We haven't even been here five minutes yet. Major, that's insane. If we start moving again so soon, Her Highness could suffer dehydration from vomit. What the hell? I thought you wanted to let her rest. We've got the upper hand, so what's the problem? ソサ、休息時間の最高愚心いたします。注意。我々国連軍の任務は反乱軍から将軍を守り無事脱出させることだ。そしてもう一つ、指揮官である私には、できる限り君たちを含めた部下の安全を図る義務がある。本作戦は
思いの深さには敬意を表する君たちがそうであるのと同様に私も私の部下たちも祖国であるアメリカに忠誠を誓った軍人だ、uh, what's he going on about now? 国民や国家の安全を守るための命令には従うそしてこの作戦も任務である以上全力を尽くすだがこれだけは言わせてもらうぞこの人類滅亡の危機に極東防衛の要所たる自覚もなく無意味な内戦に突入し貴重な戦力や時間を浪費している愚かな国家それがその幼稚でくだらない国のために私の部下が命を落とすことは絶対に我慢ならんそして今ここから数マイル後方でそのクソいまいましい事態が現実となっているんだ注意の提案する10分の休息時間の間に敵味方何人の命が失われると思う,うそれは本来人類の宿敵ベータと戦うべき命なのだぞ、uh, He's right God damn it, he's totally right He's saying exactly what I've been thinking this whole time. This isn't the time for people to be fighting amongst themselves. And yet, at the same time, a part of me feels like there's a little more to it than that. Damn it, what the hell? Why am I suddenly feeling conflicted about this? Huh? Interlopers, so does Lieutenant Tsukuyomi know what's going on behind the scenes, too? Saredo, Kikan no Shohei no Inocho, Kikeni Sarashi Rinova, Watakshi Domodo, Mashte Denka de Marimase Nareba Saki no Monoi, Masa ni Kageguchi ga Gotoki Naki Gotoni Siginu, Watakshi Domo Aite ni Morasnova, Suji Chigai mo Hanahadashi. その程度の覚悟と忠誠ならば遠慮は無用またあの時のように安全な北米大陸へ帰られよわおアウチ言葉が過ぎますつくよみ注意本作戦での立場をお忘れですか先ほど上官の議論に口を挟むなと訓練兵をたしなめていたな部下への判はおのが態度で示すがいい注意今般の作戦を主観する国連軍の名において警告します機関の発言は挑発的意図が散見され今後の任務遂行の障害となる恐れがありますはんマリーモちゃんなるほど任務の障害となる我々この絵舞台を国連が反乱軍と認定し排除するそう言いたいのだねあっフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフ Who didn't want to waste any. Wait, huh? Ah,eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Huh? Wait, isn't Atsugi Base one of the ones that got overrun before we left Hakone? Who are those guys who came from the sky? An airborne assault, but wouldn't the safest flight path from Atsugi take them right over the UN and US navies? Ah, it's the rebels, huh? Yeah, that were flying. You're kidding me, those transports risked flying flying over land, knowing full well the beta could have just shot them down. Nothing that nothing that big can fly NOE. They could have been blown to smithereens. Someone's transmitting on all channels. Is it from the troops surrounding us? It's the leader of the rebel, uh, of the rebellion. Wait, Sagiri, could it be? That voice. That's the orchestrator of the coup d'etat, Sagiri Naoya. No way. This can't be happening. Oh, they're completely surrounded now because of the airborne attack. ゆえあって決起し、立場を意味する諸君らと対峙しているが、我らの目的は戦闘ではない。諸君らが無法にも連れ去ろうとしている我らが殿下をお迎えに上がったのだ。いささか一方的ではあるが、諸君らに、ただ